Hello everyone, this is Rita Roleplayer, and I am back playing another game from Steam with the next fest 2024. And what I'm playing today is Dark Lord. It's supposed to be a funny RPG game. Let's see how it handles up. We're gonna start with the campaign. Dark Lord, you have finally awakened. Be careful what the character is telling you. Alright, let's see. I choose the answer on the left or the right. Let's see. Who are you? Who are you? Do you not remember anything? I'm your lawyer advisor. I have overseen our treasury. Or where I was. Why was I unconscious? Your ritual spiraled out of control. Now we have to start everything anew. What ritual? The grand ritual meant to help you conquer the entire world. Well, why didn't it work? <laughs> You never shared the details of the ritual with me. I believe you lack magical energy. Um, that was the cause of the explosion. This was unusual, but entirely possible. Anything could have happened. Continue. Most of your minions perished in the explosion. But with proper handling of the remaining resources, we will quickly restore your greatness. What do you mean? <laughs> do you remember how we managed the resources of your dark empire? I don't remember. Your answers can change these resources. They should not become empty or overflow. Okay. Wealth, fear, magic, might. Your own. Wealth, fear, magic, might. Your four main resources. They should always be kept roughly balanced. Okay. Proceed. If any of these if any of these resources run out or overflow, you will lose. How can they run out? Your commands change the balance of resources. They can add some resources, but spend others. We take care of all the routine, so you can just focus on the important decisions. I'm ready. Our scouts found a bit of gold beneath the castle ruins. You can decide what to do with it. What are the options? Undoubtedly, the treasurer wants to return the gold to the treasury. While the general is concerned with strengthening the army, what would you decide? Mm, okay, uh, I need soldiers. I had no doubt you would make the right decision. A strong army is the key to conquering the world. Naturally. Surviving wizards, like soldiers, need your encouragement. Will you advocate 
the found go to them. Um, hmm. Yes, how about to the wizards? See how easy it was to manage the Dark Empire, but be cautious, advisors can be too greedy. Ah, uh, keep an eye on that. My lord, there is nothing more for us here. The castle is raised to the ground. We need to move on. Is there anything we can take? The only artifact that survived was a mirror of ill. Speak. Let's take it and set up at the new castle. What is our plan? Nearby are ancient ruins. It could be a decent place to build your new cathedral. Uh, show me. Episode completed. You have become accustomed to the role of the Dark Lord. Now it's time to go to the wasteland and build your manor. It's 50 gold. You notice that the Dark Wizard in one of the windows of the Mage Tower is observing two mages performing strange hand gestures. Watch them sternly until you're noticed. The dark wizard the dark wizard startles as if lashed. He looks at you for a moment and disappears behind closed shutters. A moment later, the door of the tower creaks open and you see an advisor. His hood, as always, pulled over his eyes and a psychopantic smile never leaves his face. Dark Lord, you arrived just in time. I wanted to demonstrate our readiness to fight the Kingdom of Order. Allow me to assure you. Interrupt him and ask him about the Kingdom of Order. The Kingdom of Order owns lands beyond the wastelands. Well, of course, all lands belong to you, my lord. But the King of Order has appropriated them. It's located closest to us, and it's the best starting point of our campaign. Undoubtedly, my apprentices will easily surpass any Order Mage. Okay, tell me about the Wastelands. The Mansion of Death. Where we are now was impregnable for many years. The remains of enemy armies that fell to the mansion's walls were left by necromancers as a deterrent. Over time, the putrid smell and decay toxins contaminated the land and air. That's how the wastelands came to be. Ah, uh, that's what I wanted to know. Still, I should tell you one more thing. What's that? There's something hiding under the wasteland ground. I can't be sure what it is yet, but I feel a lot of magical potential. We should explore this. Silently nod. Okay, I got 50 bucks and 
bank. What about the bears? Level 1, tend to upgrade. Helps cards in the deck. Okay. This advisor will show their talent later. Continue increasing their influence level. Alright. Alright. Store. The general leads the dark army. He prepares new fighters. Seasoning their training with unenemy civility at the dash of righteousness. In his past, the general was spotted in the intrigue of the fallen great empire and perhaps even was a member of lower nobility. But he prefers to remain silent about it. Generals had their own dark sides. Okay, dialogue. Oh, is that for me? Yes, for you. I give you some money. And I guess I gave you money. And all right, um, that should be it. Guess I leave. Can I leave? How do you leave? Alright, go to the bank. Alright, coins recount. Plus five per episode. Alright, all this gold is ours now. Glad to see you, Dark Lord. I haven't finished counting are countless riches yet. The micromancers were too diligent in their records and postponed many things. But please don't worry, I learned some accounting tricks at the Golden Bank. Of these worlds, the treasurer takes a coin from a huge pile next to him and tries it with his teeth. Tell me more about this Golden Bank. The Golden Bank is located to the far east, where the desert meets the sea. A network of caves goes deep underground where treasures keep the riches collected from all over the world. There is a saying, everything stored in the golden bank stays in the golden bank forever. The treasurer laughs hoarsely. Okay, I feel unable to appreciate this joke. And even if the treasure themselves... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. I feel unable to appreciate this joke. Not even the treasures themselves can steal from the bank's treasures. The treasurer thinks for a long time and looks at you suspiciously. My lord, where do you... Uh -oh, never mind. It's possible, my lord, when it comes to the most terrible punishment, imprisonment at the bottom of the caves. It's dark and scary there. Not just that. No, 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 no. The treasurer starts swaying side to side, hugging himself. You understand that you won't get another word out of him. All right, uh, let's go to the mage tower. The examiners were unfair. Dark wizard is training his wizard again, and you can see great pride in his eyes. It brings back memories of the school of true Mastery. However, my training there never took place. Ignorant bastards. You didn't study there, did you? 
That's right. I didn't unroll. I tried, but I couldn't. Well, exactly. The arrogant admissions committee didn't give me a chance, despite the fact I was better than all of them. How did it happen? I remember that day like it was yesterday. I stand in front of them. They sit, look at me with their shameless eyes. I take the scroll. The inscription on the scroll says, create a small light source. It was a basic spell that any three-year-old can do. Of course you handled such a simple task. The dark wizard looks at you with a spark of rage in his eyes and clears his throat. I created a small fire in the palm of my hand. But they said it wasn't what they wanted. I created the illusion of a firefly and it emitted real light. But these formalist said it was not what they expected to see. They wanted me to perform this particular spell, but I didn't manage to. To tell the truth, I still don't know how. Yeah. They wanted me to perform this particular spell, but I didn't manage to. To tell the truth, I still don't know how to cast pure light. Finally, I got angry and mixed several types of magic into one and created a beautiful light source. It was beautiful, dangerous, and long-lasting. But they were not satisfied. It was then they imposed a ban on mixing magical arts, fearing how such strong spells could be. I always been a versatile wizard. I can solve the same problem in a huge number of different ways, but for these arrogant formalists, it has no value. They prefer to reach heights in a single discipline, ignoring every else, ignoring everything else that exists around them. Okay, so you don't have a specialization in which you are the strongest. I am strong in all specializations. That's the point. The dark wizard angrily mutters to himself something about recognition and fame, about revenge and old grudges. You understand that it's useless to talk to him now. Okay. Um... Okay, do I want to give him money or upgrade? Let me upgrade you. How about you? Nothing? The Dark Tower. Yes. Okay, total conflicts among all of us is zero. Total conflicts hard to detect, zero. Influence difference for conflict, eight. How about two? All right. All right. Missions. Yes, how about a mission? Alright. The failed ritual destroyed my old lair. Like hmm. the failed ritual destroyed my old lair. Much like a cheap chess board in the hands of a novelist. The world conquest plan had to be put on hold. It is time to begin constructing the Dark Empire anew, and, and perhaps even cover my memory in the process. My servant said 
that is something is hidden beneath this high land perhaps treasures or even a whole dragon hmm all right let's choose a advisor choose an advisor choose an advisor I can't venture into the catacombs. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. Master, our wizards sense a faint magical source somewhere beneath the ground of this valley. Well, you're gonna continue. This can pose a threat to our manor or conversely open up new possibilities. Let's investigate it. Search for an entrance. While the wizard's examining the map, your advisor would like to ask you a couple of questions. Ask. The moral of our The moral of our living soldiers drops when they fight aside the dead. Review the tactics. We need to ensure the security of our treasury. Allocate more soldiers. We need to ensure security of our treasury. Allocate more soldiers for protection. Okay, I'll do that. Master, we have found the entrance to the underground. There is a violent shimmer deep inside. The wizards are afraid to proceed. Oh, whip him. He whips immediately. Make your wizards more obedient. Their silhouettes disappear until the violet glow of the dungeon. Dreadful cries of your wizards echo from the underground. The cries abruptly fall silent. What are your orders? Well, we're going to do this the right thing. Okay, I'll take care of it. You boldly enter the dungeon alone. Your advisors reluctantly follow you. You just shut eyes to the violet light. You see the silhouette of a person ahead. It is the bright wizard. The internal enemy practicing light magic prepare for battle. Okay, prepare the weapons. Greetings, young lord. Another lost soul seeking Recognition. Okay, why are you here? I won't fight you today, but I warn you. Warn me about what? All your minions are deceivers. They want you to stay forever in the world of illusions. How is that possible? <laughs> If you discover the truth, they will all disappear. And how would you prove that? They had hidden the truth in a chest. Find it. And then we'll meet again. And where should I look for this chest? The bright wizard dissolves into a magical mist. The coward fled. I wonder what he was even doing in this place. Uh, we need to find out. By the way, I didn't hear. By the way, I didn't hear what he said to you before leaving. And that is my business. Then the wizard disappeared, but the magical source remained. 
Shall we continue to search? Uh, continue. That disgusting goblin is trying to put me in the treasury. I am a sentient being in case you didn't notice. I didn't notice. The general demands magical support from the wizards. Help him. My lord, we finished searching the dungeons. There is one cell left. Next to it, there is a lever. What's in the cell? Behind the bars, there's a decaying body of a wizard. Probably necromancers use this place as a prison. Okay, let's pull the lever. I'll do it myself. The lever activated cunning trap set by the bright wizard. My lord, be careful with levers. He barely managed to save you, but along with the trap, the lever also opened the bars. I will be careful. The servants start inspecting the chamber, but as they touch the decaying body, it begin to move and speak. I sense a familiar power in you, a great power. Why have you come to my abode? Now will be my manner. Even better. I never sought power, but allow me to stay with you. I will reveal to you secrets of life and death like no other. Uh, will it be useful? I bow before your greatest... I bow before your great... I bow before your great... I bow before your dark greatness, my lord. I will serve you until my death. Okay, sir. The dark wizard approaches you, so his words won't be heard by others. Be cautious. My lord, be cautious. This new advisor, the remnants of his attire don't resemble the form of macromancers who lived here before. We will learn the truth. Ah, the episode is completed. The powerful necromancer has joined your entourage and I get 60 gold to the manor. Thank you for releasing me, my lord. Many dark lords have risen before my eyes, but you seem more cunning than the others. Uh, how old are you? My death is... Only death is older than me. Look at how my bones age. The spell that holds them together was personally developed by me. Now I can say for sure that is a new. Now I can say for sure it's a new record. You want to know anything else? Ah, uh, okay, that is this. What were you doing in my dungeons? These dungeons were mine before you, strictly speaking. Not only mine, but those are details. After the mages destroyed the mansion of death, they killed all the necromancers and imprisoned me. Perhaps they had some plans for me, but we will never know. You can't shake the feeling that the necromancer is winking at you, but his dark eye sockets just remain as most of us. You want to know anything else? What are you? 
you feel like the remote commander is looking at you with surprise and a hint of disapproval. Once there was a human flesh on these bones, but death provides true freedom from prejudices. Do you want to know anything else? Uh, that's it. Ah, uh, to the crypt. Secrets of the Manor and Necromancy. Upon entering the crypt, you immediately notice the Necromancer. He stands still, like one of the statues. Dr. Lord, please forgive me. I was giving my last orders to our skeleton. But you was just standing. My lord, I do not need to speak loud words. As for the living, all the dead I raise are bound to me indissibly. They hear me and know what I want, even from many miles away. That's why the undead army is the most effective army in the world. Then why wouldn't the necromancers defend their holdings in the past? The white wizard gathered an army of unprecedented size and crushed our manor. It left me alive for some reason I still don't understand. The torment of loneliness made me immune to all the torment of loneliness made me immune to suffering. All I wanted was to talk to anyone. I owe you death, and I am ready to serve you for eternity. Why did the white words would attack you? He absolutely, he absolutely nothing wrong. We did absolutely nothing wrong. Most of the matters that happened to engage in harmless research on death. This is undoubtedly unusual for any necromancers in our time. The white wizard went insane, trying to disrupt the balance. I not doubt. Do not doubt. You will avenge the white wizard. The death of your comrades will not be in vain. Go, my lord. I will raise an army of unprecedented power from the graves. The necromancer lowers his head and retreats unto himself. Do not disturb and quietly leave the crypt. Yes. Alright. Let me... How much do I want? 85? I'll give you 10. And I will leave. What about the bank? Uh, okay, I will give you some. Leave you. And I'll go back to the barracks. Ah, my soldiers are on your side. As always, one, two, ball in, pay your respects to the great lord. You see rows of soldiers in front of the barracks, clad in armor. They all has one beat their armored fists against their chest. I'm glad to see you, dog lord. You can be rest assured there are no traitors among us. Why should I doubt? Do you know something? No one is immune from betrayal, my lord. Long before I joined your service, the one who calls himself the king of time betrayed my family. Now I trust no one. Tell me about your family. The memory clan is scattered and fragmented. I'm not sure that any of my relatives are still alive. The traitor does not tolerate those who remember 
remember anything. On the day, on the day the hunt for my kin began, I was in service to the great empire and could not protect them. I do not remember each of them. Well, I remember each of them, those involved. I recite their names like a player before I sleep. The time will come. I will seek vengeance. Tell me about the time comes and we will deal with this. And let me upgrade you. And I will exit. Okay, that's it. Does that look mission? How about the dark tower? Okay. Conflicts and one advisor, zero influence, difference of conflicts. Alright, that looks like it. Um, so far it looks like this is an interesting game. I like it. It is, you know, has a lot of potential. And for those of you who watch, you should consider this also. So, I will thank you. I think that's pretty good. You can be able to finish the rest of this demo. So, thank you. And have a nice day.